Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. I'm your host, Darnisha. So glad to have you guys back here for episode 10. I'm so excited about episode 10 because the stats say that most podcasts end at like episode 6, somewhere around there. And I'm just happy that we're well over that threshold and we're just going to keep chugging along, okay? If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe wherever you are listening or watching this, whether it's YouTube, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify. Make sure you guys subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss an episode. So today's topic is embracing change. And more specifically, I want to talk about how to navigate life's transitions. How do you go about feeling more comfortable with the change and handling changes that happen throughout your life? So much can change in just a span of like a year, a month, a lot can change. And sometimes it's a little difficult for us to grab a hold to what's happening. Like, is this really happening? How do I really get comfortable in this situation. So I definitely want to give you guys some current changes that I am going through and giving you some real life advice on how to navigate that. So let's get started. If you follow me on social media at all, or if you started watching the podcast on video version before this change happened, you would have noticed that my YouTube channel, it was fashion, it was fashion. It was Fashionicious Flavor. Um, that was the name of it. But I have recently gone through the change of changing that name to Dynamic Fashion. And it was, I'm not going to say it was difficult for me to do. Okay, yeah, it was difficult me to, for me to do. It was easy for me to decide, but difficult for me to do. Um, I started my podcast, not my podcast. I started my YouTube channel back in 2019 when I was in college. Started off doing natural hair then i transitioned into doing diys tutorials fashion hauls all type of fashion content that's what i transitioned into that's what i love to do right but as as i grew as i started to change as my purpose became more clear to me i just stopped i stopped doing the fashion videos i stopped doing the hauls because it just wasn't feeding my purpose if that makes sense it wasn't helping the bigger picture that I have for myself. Not saying that it couldn't, but for me, it's just I couldn't focus on a million things when I knew I had this one thing that I truly needed to put my all into, which was the brand, which was dynamic fashion. So over time, I started to make business videos, um, start to give you guys vlogs about my journey as I'm building a clothing brand. I started to give you guys these podcasts and I just wanted the platform to actually make sense. So that's why I ended up changing the name from Fashionisha Slava to Dynamic Fashion. The only reason it was hard to do was because it was a big change for me. I've always, it's always been Fashionisha Slava from the day I started. It's always been Fashionisha Slava. So this was truly hard for me to, it was hard for me to do. But I knew that with doing this, with making this change, more good would come out of this than any harm at all. To be honest, no harm at all comes from me changing that name. Only good can come from this. It's better for branding. It's just better for people to find us and for me to for me to share the message behind my brand. It's just better. So, yeah, it was hard though. Uh, I definitely cried. <laughs> I cried. I didn't know I was going to cry, but I put this compilation of videos that I've done over the years for Fashionicious Flavor together. And I wasn't crying because I was sad. I was crying because I couldn't believe how much I have grown over the years. I've had the same camera since I started. I've had the same computer since I started. My very first video, trash. <laughs> trash and now I see as I was making the compilation it was just like I was seeing it over time how much my videos got better how much I got better at explanations how much the lighting got better I just got better at doing this thing and I didn't let fear stop me from starting I didn't let fear stop me from starting over as many times as I, as I needed to 
I just kept going. And I was just so proud of the fact that I kept going. I was so proud of the changes that I made within the channel. I was just so proud of who I had become over time on this platform. I was just very proud of that. So that's why I cried. I was, ooh, I was bawling, girl. <laughs> I was bawling. It was just the growth. I was just really happy to see the growth because when you're in it, sometimes it's hard to see growth when you're in it. Sometimes it's hard to see your progress when you're actually going through the journey. But looking back on those videos, I was just like, wow, wait, I, I really did progress. I really did grow. And I think that's a big thing when it comes to navigating life's transitions. Document that. Document whatever you're going through so that you can be able to look back and say, oh, wow, wait, I, I have done something. Because there, there were a lot of times where I would say, oh, I'm not doing enough. I just, I really haven't done anything. Like, yeah, I have this YouTube channel. I have 6,000 subscribers. I haven't done anything, though. I, I just really, I battled with that. That's what I was telling myself. So to see my growth firsthand, I cried. I was so happy. I was just like, okay, wow, okay, just keep going. So that's that's my story. <laughs> um, so let's get into ways that you can you can navigate these life changes that happen. Number one, it's four things. Number one, cultivate a growth mindset. You can't have growth until you have change. You cannot grow anything until change happens. Literally, as a human being, we cannot grow until something changes. Our height changes, the way we speak changes, the words we know, they change. Our language changes. So many things change about us and we grow up to be where we are today. But a lot of things had to change in order for us to get there. Change is an opportunity for personal growth and learning. But if you don't have that growth mindset, there's no way that you would think that. You wouldn't think that moving out of your home state could be something great for you. You would think that moving out of your home state is gonna create depression. Don't have that mindset of negativity. You wanna have that growth mindset. You wanna know that something positive can and will come out of the change that is happening. Be open-minded, have a positive outlook on things instead of being so, I don't, I don't know this place. I don't know anybody there. There is nothing good that can come out of this because I am not established in this area yet. Be positive. Know that you're going to meet people who can help you along the way. Know that you're going to learn new things along the way that could positively affect your life. That could change the whole game for you. I know as millennials, we sometimes we just get comfortable. We get comfortable where we are and we don't wanna do anything different because we're comfortable here. A growth mindset will change that for you. Knowing that if you change these little things about yourself or in your life, that a big thing could come out of that and you do it because of that. I'm proud of us as millennials though. Like I'm proud of the fact that as a generation, we're the generation that tries. We're the generation that just goes for it and whatever happens, happens. That's where change happens and that's where growth happens. It happens in the unknown. If we knew everything, this would kind of be boring. Life's journey would kind of be boring if we knew what was coming next. If you know what's coming next in the movie, that movie is boring. <laughs> Number two, learn from failures. You can have number two when you have number one. If you have a growth mindset, you will look at failures as an opportunity to try in a different way. You would look at failures as an opportunity to learn something new. Learn what not to do next time. Learn how to do it better the next time. Failures aren't always negative, And we talked about that in a past podcast episode. Failures aren't always negative. Fail, go ahead. And one thing I hear all the time is fail fast. Like get it over with so that you can learn all you need to learn in order to be better. Learn all you need to learn in order for you to grow. And with failure, you automatically have to change if you want to do better. If you fail at, I don't know, let's say you were trying to learn a new TikTok dance. 
<laughs> Let's say you were trying to learn a new TikTok dance or something and you felt you're failing at this. Stop looking at that as such a negative thing and look at it as a stepping stone. Uh, okay, I did step one, two, three, right, but step four, oh, I suck at step four. I cannot get step four. Look at step four. Hone in on what can you do to make step four better so that you can ultimately get to step five. But if you just stick to step four and say, oh, I suck at step four, so I'm just going to leave step one, two, and three behind and not even worry about getting to step five, six, and seven, you will never, you won't make it in anything because of your mindset. Your mindset is so negative that you can't even get to the growth that's possible. Look at failures as learning lessons. Look at failures as opportunities. Opportunities to learn something new. Opportunities to do something better. It's not always a bad thing to fail. Now, I'm not saying just go out there and fail willy-nilly at a whole bunch of different things, but if you have something that you're focused on, doing and you're focused on achieving it's okay to fail fail and learn fail forward navigating life transitions you want to make sure that you stay true to yourself especially in our generation our day and age there's so much peer pressure to do things a certain way there's so much peer pressure to be something else but you want to make sure you're not making changes for others you're not making changes based on what somebody else is doing and you think that that's going to work for you be true to whoever you are be true to what you're doing be true to your journey instead you can't do what johnny is doing you're not johnny you, you're not be true to you there is so much going on on social media right now it's like let's talk about the entrepreneur thing everybody isn't an entrepreneur everybody doesn't want a business some people love to have a leader above them telling them what's best for the, what's best to do in these certain type of situations and leading them to success. Some people love that. Everybody isn't supposed to be starting a business and being a leader because some people just don't have it. We it's like we see so many people complain about these businesses and how they have attitudes, how they don't want to I think about hairstylists. <laughs> some hairstylists are just really mean. They don't really want to serve their client. You can tell by someone's, you know, that page, their booking page you have to go to. You can tell what type of person they are on their booking page. If I feel like you're yelling at me on your booking page, I'm not booking with you. You can be stern in your words and stern in your rules for your business without being an a-hole. But some people are just not made. They're just not made to be of service to others. And maybe they weren't true to themselves when they were starting their business. Maybe they did it because somebody encouraged them to and they had this talent. So they felt like, oh, let's go into business instead of working for somebody else. When in actuality, you were supposed to go work for Miss, Miss Vicky at her shop instead of starting your own thing. Because there were so many things that you were supposed to learn from Miss Vicky. That if you would have learned that from Miss Vicky, maybe your business would have been a little more successful and you could have served people better. Don't be someone who is conforming to societal ways. That's, that's more of negative change. If you're going to change, make sure that the change is positive. Make sure that it's actually growing you as a person and not at the end of the day being a detriment to you. One way to make sure that your change is something that is coming from you and who you are is to practice self-reflection. Look at yourself. See what you are doing that is harming your growth or see what you are doing that is helping your growth and make changes after you reflect. And I'm not saying that you can't involve other people in your self-reflection, but you have to be able to know yourself, trust yourself, and know that hey, this is a detriment to where I can go. That's why. That's one reason why I changed the name of my channel. That was a detriment to where I can go. If I want people to be able to come to this channel and be encouraged to implement change, progression, and growth in order to create a better life, maybe I shouldn't be presenting this as Fashionisha's flavor because this is no longer about Fashionisha. This is about the betterment of millennials. That's what this is about. And I want you to feel that when you come to this channel. I don't want you to feel that it's all about me, 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 fashionista, fashionista. And it's not. Like, I, I want it to make sense. 
but that took self-reflection it took time like i've been thinking about this for probably two to three weeks now it took time for me to decide or it took time for me to actually do it i decided a long time ago i just was i was procrastinating because it was it meant a lot to me fashionista flavor is is important to me so that took time for me to do but I would have never noticed this change needed to happen if I wasn't in self-reflection, if I wasn't actively reflecting on myself and what was going to help my business overall, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Last but not least, number four is embrace change. Look at it as an opportunity. Change is scary. It's hard. Sometimes it's very uncomfortable. But on the other side, of uncomfortability you never know what's there you never know what's there if you're open to change you can discover new experiences you can discover new people you can discover new skills that you can take on and give to the next generation you can give to your children you can give to your business and overall just it amplifies your growth stop looking at change as this is so scary to me that I'd rather sit in what I know is harming me. I was just literally this morning, literally this morning, I posted a video and I'm listening to a Bible in a Year podcast. And the podcast was talking about the story, how God freed the slaves from Egypt. And ultimately 10 guys were instructed to go look at this land that God had for them to see if they could take it from whoever had the land. And they went to go look at the land. They saw that the people were super strong. They saw that they were well endowed. And they came back to their people and said, we can't take that land. There's no way we can. We should just go back to being slaves because there's no way we can go fight for that. They looked at, they looked at change as a negative thing. What was on the other side of that wall? What was in that land could have sustained them for generations could sustain the generations after them to do amazing things. But they looked at that challenge. They were too afraid of that challenge to get something better that they said, oh, I'd rather go be a slave. They didn't look at it as an opportunity for better. They didn't look at it as an opportunity for growth. Don't be like that. Like, don't be like that. You're gonna be stuck. You're gonna be 40 and wishing you would have did this 20 years ago. Do whatever it is your heart is desiring to do. Change whatever it is your heart is desiring to change so that you can have a better life. And those who are who come after you can have a better life. Trust me when I say that nothing truly worth having will come out of your comfort zone. Nothing truly worth having. It might look good. It might feel good. It might be familiar to you. But there is better out there. I want you guys to remember that the journey of change, navigating life's transitions, it's all a personal journey. It's different for each and every one of us. We can look at people for inspiration, see how they do it, how they're handling it. But at the end of the day, you have to know that your journey is unique. Nobody's journey is going to be like yours. Give yourself grace on this journey. Maybe you won't do it right the first, second, or third time. Give yourself some grace. But don't give yourself too much grace that you don't move. Be open to be open to learning and be open to growing along the way. It's not going to be a comfortable journey. If you really want change, if you really want better in life, it's not going to be comfortable. I'm telling you that right now. You might cry. And it might not be a happy cry. It might be a very, very discomforting cry. But on the other side of that comfort zone, you just don't know what you could accomplish, what you could receive, what's waiting for you. You just don't know. So that's it. That's all I got in this episode 10 of Embracing Change. I want you to do just that. I want you to embrace it. I want you to lose that fear. And I want you to fail fast. Get it over with. And get to that growth side of this whole journey. That's what I want for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of the Be Dynamic Podcast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe to wherever you're listening to this podcast. Um, thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure you join the conversation down in the comments below. Um, if you're on YouTube, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had a, a trying journey of change that, that you have encountered. I want to hear about it. I want to talk about it. 
and I want to give you some encouraging words if I can. But that's it, guys. Make sure that you guys continue to change, progress, grow, and be dynamic. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I hope you learn to make it on your own And if you let yourself just know you'll never be alone I hope that you get everything you want in that